<laughs> All right, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. All right, so second section. Last week we had worked on the brush knee and push down to punching down. So let's just start today by practicing from cross hands all the way through. Before we get going, I wanna take a moment and just swing through our middle body. I really encourage you to bring that lightness into your form. So let's take a second warming up, feet shoulders width apart, and just let your body swing from side to side. Feel that middle body leading that turning. So the arms kind of follow. Remembering that through our Tai Chi practice, everything starts in our legs moves through our waist, and then is expressed in our hands and fingers. So just taking that warm moment to warm up. Nice deep breath. All right, we'll slowly start easing off of that. Coming back to center, let's just roll our shoulders. It's really early for some of us, right? So let's take a moment warming up through the upper body, bringing that into our practice today. All right, shake it out and let's come back into cross hands. So we'll run through the whole section, adjusting for your space if necessary. This Christmas tree takes up a lot more space than I realized. So you're gonna see me do a lot of adjustments, all right? So from cross hands, sinking down, head lifting up, shoulders hanging down, right arms on the outside. Embrace the tiger, return to the mountain, shifting to the right, turn. Separate the arms. Remember, it looks like brush knee, but there's a different meaning. Roll back, bicycling the arms to connect out and then turn from your waist. Press. And push. Fist under elbow, just like single whip, big turning, pressing down, and then we're gonna push out to the side. Step to the corner, warding off. Show rotate to grab as you step with the right foot. Pull down, then lift, punch, and touch with the left heel. Repulse monkey three times, number one. Two, turning on that front heel, and three. Remember, hand goes to the shoulder and shoots straight out. Diagonal flying, big circle with the arms. Step, and then turn on your left heel. Big arms here. Raise hands, and step forward. Circling down for white crane, left arm comes on top, we close and step. And then right arm passes on the outside going overhead. Brush knee and push. Look at the right palm, then two half circles, clear right hand to the shoulder, pushes straight out. Needle at the sea bottom, stepping in, pulling back, touch with the ball of the foot, and then Sink down. Fan through the back. Touching the right wrist. Step wide enough. Pulling into that palm. Right hand by the temple. Turn body. Chop with fist. Turning. Protect your head. Make a fist. Chopping out. And then palm push. Deflect down. Parry, block, and punch. Grasping the bird's tail, connect out. Open up that fist for ward off right. Roll back. Press. And push. Single whip, flatten and turn, big circle. Press down and then make a hook to the corner. 
Step wide enough and push. Wave hands like clouds, shift back and turn. Open up that hook as the arm sinks down. We do it three times. Counting as we step wide for two. And the last one, stepping double wide and then shoulder width for single width. Okay, high pat on horse, shift back, open up that hook, hand comes to the shoulder, touch with the ball of the foot and pushing out. Okay, level out the arms, right hand comes to the shoulder and then across as you step, sweeping out the arm. Close by turning the waist, right arm on the outside for our separation kick, stand up, look, kick, Bend the knee and change the arms. Left hand by the shoulder, right palm to the sky. Sink down. Step, left arm passes across the top and over to the left side. Close the arms by turning the weight. Stand up. Look, kick, bend the knee. Okay, left arm and leg come across. Straighten the left leg, turn the right palm to the sky, and then turn on the heel. Right arm comes inside, standing up, left heel kick, bend the knee. Okay, right arm comes to the front, looking at your palm. Swing the right arm down, step out, and then brush knee and push. Okay, left arm comes up. Turn the left arm and leg together for brush knee on the other side. Clearing and push. Okay, we're gonna review, but let's do it one time. Right arm comes up just like brush knee, it turns over. Bring both arms to the side as you make a fist and then brush and then punch down towards the knee. Arm and leg in line. Whew, okay, nice. Great practice. Okay, so last week we had worked, oh, <laughs> you're doing great. Remember, we're getting into the meat of the form now, okay? So learning this form definitely takes commitment, which all of you have, that's why you're here, right? But it takes time to remember the sequence. Now, if we turn around in our space, or if we practice in a new location, we might find ourselves a little disorientated and adding or subtracting moves. Remember, that's perfectly normal, okay? Do you have a question? Okay, all right, so let's review and let's go through the brush knee and push into punching down a few times. And then we're gonna get into the next movement, which is turn body and chop with fists. So we've already done this, and this is what I mean in terms of giving yourself grace to kind of say, okay, learning this sequence is gonna take a little bit of time because we do have repeat movement. So sometimes that can cause us to get a little bit off, okay? So let's start from our left heel kick so that we can get in that brush knee and push that is sometimes a little bit trickier. So we can just start with our foot touching the ground, welcome. We are starting from our left heel kick. We did our kick, our arms are up. The first thing you're gonna do is bring that right hand in front. Then as you sink down, you're gonna swing that right arm down and press down with the left until you step out. Now this should be normal brush knee. This is the same side we do in the first section four times, except now you can't see me. You need to be looking away from your screen. Okay, so we're going to clear or brush as we bring the right hand to the shoulder. And then we're going to push out as the left hand comes by the knee. So this should feel pretty normal. Now, this is the odd side. Remember in the first section, we have four on one side and one on the other. This is that one. So shifting, swing down, step brush knee, and push. 
Very nice. Remember, don't uh, bring the arms too long. Relax the elbows down a little bit. Yes, that way our shoulders stay in place. Okay, now just like brush knee, we're going to bring the right arm up. And then we're going to turn the arm and leg together. So it's that same position where the fingertips point to the center of the forearm. And from here, as we move forward, we're going to bring both arms to the side direction, make a fist, and step out. So now that left arm should feel like brush knee, and you have a fist by your right hip. Okay, now we're going to clear, and then we're going to punch down towards our opponent's knee. So we're going to lean a little bit further into this one. And our right arm is going to be in line with our leg and our shoulder, everything on the right side. Okay, nice work. All right, ready to do it again? Okay, so from our kick, we did our kick. Our arms are out. We're just touching for balance right now. Okay, first thing, bring the right arm across. Swing the right arm down. Press down with the left arm as you step out. Okay, brush and bring the right hand to the shoulder. You're halfway. And then continue finishing brush knee and push. Perfect. Remember, relax the arms again. Okay, left arm comes up. Right arm, remember, stays where it is. And we just turn the left arm and leg together and pour that weight back in. Okay, swinging down, step out. Remember, setting up for brush knee, hands to the corner, sitting up, right arms in that ski slope, nice and rounded. We clear or brush off and then push out. Nice, let's do one more. Punching down, lift the arm up as you shift back. Turn arm and leg together and Pour that weight back in. Then turning to the side, make a fist. And then just like brush knee, we clear. And then we punch down. How do we do? Yes? Okay. Do we have any questions? The, yes. the, the line of the punch, is that the same as the left leg, this angle? The, the right leg. So right. punching down is going to be in line with that right leg, like oh. this. Okay. okay. So we're not going to come across. At the end of the form, we do have a movement we call punching to the groin. That's going to be towards the center line. But this is more thinking about if you have someone stepping right towards you, kind of mirroring your footwork. If you cleared and you pushed them back, their leg would go back like this, right. okay? And then you would punch right towards their knee area. So we want to be directly in line with our right side here. Beautiful. Okay. And then this is just like brush knee. Is the angle of this arm the same as the angle of the left leg, but it's over the right leg? Kind of. If it was matching to be like this. Okay, it's a little higher. And then we kind of lean a little bit. Oh, okay. Thank you. Great. You're welcome. Great question. It is because normally when we do this movement, you know, we're trying to make one line from our heel all the way through the crown of our head. So that would be more like this. But yeah. with this punching down, we want to lean into it that little bit more yeah. okay. so that we're at a knee level. And it's not going to be our knee level, right? Because that would be like we would be all the way down here, right? So <laughs> we have to find that in between. That yeah. looks great. Right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Great questions. Okay. These are things that are so hard to learn over Zoom, right? Because the difference of being here versus here is easy to see when I'm facing the camera, right? But then when I turn this way, it's harder to see. Okay. That's a great question. All right. Let's do it again. So from our kicking, coming back in our space. All right. Arms are up. Touching. Okay, right arm comes across. Then swing the right arm down, 
as you press down with the left and you step. Okay, feels like brush knee? Good, clear brush, right hand to the shoulder, and then push out. Okay, now we have brush knee and push on the right. Left arm comes up. Left arm and leg turn together and you pour that weight back in. Very important, make sure you're heavy in the front. Swing that left arm down. Press down with the right as you step. Brush knee and push. Perfect. Right arm comes up. Turn the arm and the leg together. Pour that weight in. Turning to the side, making that fist as you step out. Brush or clear and then punch down. Knee height, arm in line on the right side, left hand is by your knee. And remember, we're leaning that little bit more. Nice, looks great. Okay, do we feel good? All right, so then today what I wanna work on next is another repeat movement, okay? So if you ever get a chance to take a seminar with Master Young, they're really amazing. Just being around his energy is something so special. The hard part is that he likes to say, okay, this is a repeat movement and then move really quickly, <laughs> okay? So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna spend a little bit more time working on these details. So I want you to ask all the questions. I want you to feel super comfortable with this, okay? So watch one time. We're gonna go from punching down and we're going into turn body and chop with fist. So we're gonna shift up and we're gonna move our weight back. We're coming around to protect our head as we turn on our left heel. We're gonna circle back a little bit as we relax our foot. And then we're gonna chop out just like normal. So connecting and chopping and then pushing with that left palm. Okay, so essentially it's the exact same movement, but we have a new transition, okay? So let's review the footwork first and foremost. So we're starting in our punching down with our left foot forward, okay? So remember, you're leaning down that little bit more. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start coming up and then you're gonna shift your weight back to your right leg. Now you're gonna turn towards your right, away from your screen. Turn on your left heel until you're pigeon-toed and that left foot is going to the corner. Okay, now you're gonna shift your weight to the left and relax your right foot. Beautiful, pick up your right foot, draw it into the center, step wide enough, touch, and then move forward into a bow stance. Nice, everyone ended in the right direction, okay? So essentially, just like single whip, right, we're starting from this direction and we're going to this opposite direction, okay? So let's do it a couple of times. Remember, this one we're turning towards our right side, so you have to look away from your screen. So we did punching down. You're leaning into it. Shift your weight back, coming up. Shift all that weight to the right leg. Now turn on your left heel away from your screen. Turn to your right. Shift your weight to the left and relax your right foot on the ball. Okay, pick up your right foot. Step wide enough for a bow stance. Touch, because that's going to be your chop. And then move your weight forward for a bow stance. Okay. Now, I see a little bit of struggle happening. Let's turn the opposite way, okay? So let's do this from the other side, okay? I don't wanna confuse you, but I want you to see the footwork. So let's start, if we did punching down, facing this direction, this means that you're gonna turn towards your screen, okay? So you're gonna shift your weight back, okay? Turn on your left foot, facing your screen. Turn, turn, turn. Now look. All the weights in the right leg. This is how you get your left foot to face 45 degrees. Now you shift back and you relax that right foot. Pick it up. 
and then step wide enough for a bow stance. Ah, that looks better. Let's do it again. Okay, so we're doing our punching down, but remember we're facing the opposite direction so we can see. Okay, shift back, turn. Remember that turn comes from folding in the hips. Both knees are in line. Relax that right foot as you shift back. Pick up and then step wide enough, move forward. Feeling better now? Okay, yes, okay. So let's learn it this direction, but remember, we're gonna flip it, okay? Because we go from the other side. All right, so the arms, okay? We start with punching down. We're just gonna do the arms for a moment, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we come up and our arms are just gonna follow, okay? Then what's gonna happen is you're gonna protect your head. So you're gonna bring your left arm overhead. Now we're just gonna do the left arm. Then the left arm's gonna drop to the shoulder and then you're gonna push out, okay? So I'm gonna show you just so that you can see for a second, okay? Just watch the screen, okay? So what happens is as we turn, we're gonna come and protect our head, okay? Then we're gonna shift and sink down and then we're gonna push out, okay? So let's do this a couple of times, just with the left arm. You have that left arm by your knee, Right now it's by your hip. It's gonna come up overhead and protect. Remember, give yourself that beautiful rounded arm, okay? Now from here, drop down so that it's sitting in front of the shoulder and then push out. Beautiful, okay? So again, let's do it facing this direction because this is where we're gonna practice, okay? we are have it by our knee or our hip. You're gonna come up and you're gonna turn and do what? Protect your head. You don't know what's coming, okay? As you step out, you're gonna bring the hand to the shoulder and then you're gonna push out. Good, remember, not too far with the arms. Relax them, okay? Yeah, let everything sit. It's still an extended feeling, but it's not a little bit too much, okay? All right, let's do it again, just the left arm. So just not worrying about the footwork, just kind of getting with the turn what happens, okay? So the first thing, you're gonna come up that little bit, then you're gonna bring this arm kind of overhead, it's like a half circle as you turn, okay? Then we're gonna drop that palm down, and then we're gonna push out. That looks great, okay. So now the right arm, okay? Remember, we're going low, right? We're here, we're low. So we're gonna come up first. Then it's actually gonna press down, okay? I'm gonna show you from this direction first. Just watch the right arm, okay? So the first thing we do is we come up. Then it's gonna turn over, okay? So it's gonna go from sitting down, vertical, and then it's gonna be pressing down. There we go, okay? So, what happens from here? You're gonna turn your waist to give you a circling to the side, okay? Now we're gonna use our shoulder and our elbow to chop out, okay? Remember, when we chop, we're showing the back of the fist here, and then it's just gonna come where? Back to your hip. Perfect, okay? So, again, we go from punching down, we're gonna lift ourselves up that little bit, and then we're gonna rotate to show pressing down. Then we're gonna turn, we're turning from our waist. Then chop. Yes, remember, chopping is not too low, okay? Chopping is what? Back of the fist, right here, okay, where? right to your opponent's nose, okay? So we chop, face level, yes, that's it, okay? Then we draw back to our hip, okay? So putting it together, why? So we understand, if we chop, 
and our opponent goes like this, and they move back, right? What happens? You go and you do a palm. Okay, from here, if you watch, I'm gonna line up with the door jam, okay? See how my fist is in line? Now watch, as you turn, look how much extra space you can gain, right? So this is the meaning, right? So if we try to reach someone and they're here, but then they pull back, we're gonna extend and get that extra space. Now, where does that extra space come from? It comes from our torso being open, and then closing back to straight as well, okay? So we're getting the fact that we're here and we have our weight in the back leg, and then we're gonna push out and go into our bow stance. Pretty cool, right? So remember, even though we're not here for the actual martial arts meaning, this has a big connection to our mind so that when we're practicing, we're present in the moment. We know what's going on, okay? And then we can find that spatial awareness over Zoom or YouTube, wherever we are, right? So that we know where we're supposed to be, okay? So let's try, we're gonna very slowly hit a bunch of kind of those um, checkpoints or Kodak moments, and we're gonna put it all together. So from punching down, so remember, we're not here. We're leaning into it that little bit more. Okay. You're going to shift up and let the arms come up first. Now, as you turn, you're going to come and protect your head and turn your right palm or fist facing down. So hold for one minute. I'm going to ease off. Okay. Are you here? Yes. Beautiful. So now you're going to shift your weight back. Okay, you've relaxed your right foot. Now draw your foot in. And as you chop out, your left hand comes to your shoulder. So check. Yes, perfect. Okay, so this should be face height. Left hand is where? By the shoulder. Our torso is open. And now close and push out. Yes, remember, check those arms. Relax. Yes. Why can I tell you that? Because that used to be me, okay? Tai Chi is the fine dance of being too extended and too relaxed, okay? So we have to find that in between. And what you'll notice is you go through phases, right? So we go through a phase of really reaching, and then we go through a phase of not enough. And then we kind of keep going back and forth, back and forth, till we find that perfect thing. And it never stops. That's the cool thing about Tai Chi. It's a never ending journey, okay? So let's start again from punching down. Remembering this is not the normal direction. This is so you can see, okay? So from here, shifting back and coming up, turning, protect your head, rotate that right fist so it's facing down. You're gonna turn your waist back a little bit as you relax your foot. Keep your torso open. Chop out to the corner. Nice. And then push. Bow stance. Everyone has such good footwork. I'm so proud of you. All of the beginner classes have helped so much, okay? So let's try and do it from the normal direction, okay? So remember, this means that you have to remember because you can't see me. You're going to be turning away from your screen. So starting from punching down, beautiful starting position. Okay, coming back, turn away from your screen. Protect your head and press down with that right arm. Now relax that right foot, turning from your waist. Okay, chop as you step out and you touch. Check left hand to the shoulder. Perfect. Okay. Then push. Right hand is where? Sitting at your hip 
with that elbow towards the back corner so that our chest is sinking in and our back's rounded. How do we do? So, so, okay, let's do it again, okay? Remember, we're gonna hit checkpoints now. So we're gonna pause for a second. I'm gonna call out some things. I want you to check in on your, your posture, okay? So from punching down, make sure you have a beautiful bow stance that you're starting with. We're leaning. That right arm is in line with the right side of your body. Left hand is by your knee. Okay, shifting back a little bit. Arms and torso start coming up. As you shift back, protect your head and turn your right palm so that it's facing down and turn on your left heel. Now we're going to hold for one second. Okay, right leg should be really full here. Check that your right knee is in line. That left arm is beautifully rounded and that right arm is pressing down. Beautiful. Okay, sit up a little bit. Remember, we're a little bit sitting up here. Okay, now relax your right foot and shift your weight to the left. How's our alignment? Are our knees, knees in line? Both feet are facing the corner. Perfect. Now pick up the right foot. Chop. Use that elbow rotation as you step out. Okay. Hold for one second. Where's your left hand? Is it by your shoulder? Where's the weight? It should be in the back leg right now. Keep that weight in the back leg so that we get that chop with a little bit of weight moving forward. And then now we have that full bow stance for the push. Okay, so remember, it's a two part, it's a combo move. We have to make sure we keep that weight back. So then we get that full extension with the push. Okay. All right, let's do it facing the other way again. I saw a little bit of a struggle. Let's do it the other direction so that we can see as we make the turn. Okay. From punching down. Remember, leaning that little bit extra. Okay, coming up, turn, protect your head, press down with that right arm. Where's the weight? Right leg, knees in line, left foot is where? To the corner. Okay, now relax your right foot. They should both be to the corner here. Pick up. And then chop out. So check, you're connected to the ground. You're literally connected, but you're not pouring that weight in. So now here, push. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna face the screen for one moment. So when we get to our chop, this is what we should look like, okay? So have that hand in front of the shoulder, ready to go like this, so we hit our chop, and then from here, we can just go straight out. Now, what should this feel like? This should feel like that brush knee and push arm, right? This should feel like repulse monkey, right? We have that palm in front of the shoulder. This right here should just start to kind of feel natural, okay? We set up, we have the hand in front of the shoulder so it can go straight out. It doesn't matter which side it's going on, but we can push straight out, okay? So let's do it again from the opposite direction. So this is, so we can see, right? We can turn towards our screen, punching down. We're gonna come up, shift our weight to the right leg, protect the head and turn. Making that relaxed shape here. Really let yourself relax. Chop out as you touch, then move that weight forward as you push. Oh, that looks good. Feeling better? All right. Now here's the challenge since everyone's partying. We're going to do it the normal direction. <laughs> okay. This is where you can't see. Okay. So starting where? Three o'clock essentially, right? So most of our form goes left and right, three and nine. So starting. This direction, normal direction. Shift back and come up. As you're shifting, turn, protect your head and press down. Beautiful, relax your right foot. Now chop out as you step for your bow stance. Keep your weight back. 
Then move your weight forward with the palm push. Can we still party? All right, let's do it again. Okay, this is where it gets harder, right? Because if we're in a room all together, we would have a great group of people all supporting each other, right? And we get kind of peek over our shoulders no matter which direction we were turning and we could all do it together. When we're in our homes, this is where the challenge comes because once you turn away from the screen, you really got to trust yourself and know that you got this, okay? So let's do it again from punching down. Beautiful starting position here. Shift back, coming up. Protect your head as you turn on your left heel. Shift your weight to your left leg. Relax that right foot. Now step and chop. Go together. Check your weights in that back leg. Perfect. Now push. Now, how do we do? Is our right hand by our hip, knee over the ankle, pushing out in line, shoulder height? Yes, looks good. All right, do you have any questions? Okay, let's put it together. Do you have a question? I say come forward. Nope, okay, let's do it, okay? So, starting from the same position. We're gonna start from our kick. Let's do it. So this is where it gets interesting when we add the extra movements, okay? So we did our kick. We're gonna do it again in a moment. We're gonna do the full kick. Right arm comes to the front for left brush knee. So swing that arm down as you sink down and you step out. Brush knee, right hand comes to the shoulder and then push. Good. Now left arm comes up as the weight goes back. Turn everything together and pour that weight back in. Swing the left arm down as you step out. Brush knee and push. Okay, punching down. Arm comes up. Everything turns. Weight pours back in. Okay, turning to the right side, making the fist step out. And then just like brush knee, we clear, but we punch down to knee height. Okay, chop with fist, turn body, chop with fist, coming up, turning. Protect your head and press down with that fist. Now relax that right foot. Then chop as you step out, left hand to the shoulder, and then push into your bow stance. How was that? A little bit more of a challenge, huh? I don't see anyone partying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's do it again. Let's include a kick this time just to get that little bit of balance practice. Remember, your kick can be picking up your leg and kicking down to knee height. That is actually one of the meanings of our kick is when we are doing this, we curl back our toes or kick out our heel and we kick towards the knee direction. You do not have to kick straight out, okay? Kicking down and keeping our balance is great. That is actually the meaning of it, okay? Remember, the higher you lift your legs, the more you have to engage your abs. Okay, so we always want to avoid this when we pick up our leg. We want to sit up nice and tall and then just use the lower abs to lift as high as possible and then just kick down. Okay, all right. I saw such a difference right away. Let's do it. Okay, remember every time we enter into our kicking arms, the leg that is kicking, which is going to be our left leg this time, is the arm that's on the outside. Okay, when we do our kicking arms, we're never gonna be at the wrist. Nice forearms, beautiful. Oh, I love it, okay. So from here, find your balance in your right leg, then stand up, look to the kicking direction, heel, kick, bend the knee. Right arm comes on the outside, swing the right arm down, press down with the left and step for a bow stance. Brush knee and push. 
Okay, left arm comes up, weight moves back, turning together for that weight back in. Swing and press down as you step, brush knee, and push. Punching down, arm comes up, turning everything together, weight pours back in. Coming to the right side as you make a fist, punching knee height. Coming up, turn on your left heel, turn away from your screen, protect your head. Then relax that right foot, chopping out, and then push into your bow stance. Yes. Oh, good end postures. Okay. Want to do it again? So it's by your hip. I saw your question, okay? So when we end, it's just sitting by your hip. This should feel similar to what? Punching, carry block and punch, okay? This is the same position. It's sitting by your hip, it's ready. And what does that mean? I'm gonna turn away for a second. So when we're here, we're not here. Relax and just let it sit by your hip, okay? So the difference of being here, versus here, okay? Relaxing into it. Yes, there's a big difference, right? When we do this, energy gets caught here in our chest, okay? We want energy in the center of our body, okay? The Dan Tien, the energy well of our body right here. So when we do this, it's stuck. Sink the chest, round the back. Let those hands be by your hips. Same thing here, right? When our hands at our shoulder too. Same thing, don't have it back here, have it in front and kind of pointing diagonal with that elbow, okay? All right, ready to do it one more time? Okay, so from our kick, standing up, take that second, find your balance, looking, stand up, and then kick, bend the knee. Right arm comes in front, Swing the right arm down as you sink down, press down with the left arm and step. Brush knee and push. Left arm comes up as we shift back and then we turn and pour that weight back in. Swing and press down, go together. Then brush knee and push on the right side. Punching down, lift the arm as you shift back, turn just like it's brush knee, pouring that weight back in. This time, both arms follow to the right side as we make a fist and we clear and then punch to knee level. Coming up, turning on that left heel, protect your head and press down with the right arm. Relax that right foot as you shift the weight to the left. Draw in and then chop and just step out, go together. Then push as you go into your bow stance. All right. Great work today, okay? Lots of details going on there, but that's going to help our turn body and chop with fists that we did previously, right? So these repeat movements are going to be that opportunity to really hone in on our practice, get those new transitions, helping us with our agility and our balance. Does anyone have any questions before we close class today? All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Such a pleasure having you all here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or week, depending on when I get to see you next. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you.